Hi everybody, Devin here from Let's Head Out. Today we are um, right outside of Helen, Georgia. Um, and we're going into a little store called the Old Salty Store. Um, it has, it's, it's, the inside of it is set up like a old general store. And um, it's kind of like a museum type thing. And then on the other side of it, there is actually a old, old-fashioned style general store which um which has different things they have clothes and uh like candy you can buy by the pound and um glass bottle drinks and other different kinds of um different novelties and stuff like that some of it's up to date and some of it is uh kind of made to look old but anyways um it's, so uh so yeah let's let's head out We're going to go up here into the old salty store and post office. So uh, we're gonna go check it out. Go ahead, Helen. Come on in. So it is very warm in here, which is good. Oh, they have a bicycle. Test your legs. <laughs> <laughs> look at the gnome. <laughs> That's not a gnome. A troll. It's a troll. a troll. It is a troll. Isn't it Check awesome? him out. He's got pants. He looks like my brother. <laughs> you don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was all. Not good. Was a little so they got it set up like an old country store, which is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And the old medicines and Ooh, a heart, um, different things. A heart. They have auto in hearts. Look at the baby. I guess that's an auto heart. That might be a mountain dulcimer. Yeah. Or no, some kind of something. That's not a I don't know what that is. That's a baby right. If rabbit. you know what that is, leave a comment in the comment section below the video. This is like one of my hands. Not very not very knowledgeable when it comes to different types of mm -hmm. medicine bottles and stuff. Cool. There's a whole bunch of different old. It's kind of cool the way this is all set up. There's an old cheese cutter. They would have a block of cheese on that, and they would, they would chop the pieces of cheese off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can... Uh, From the post office? Mm -hmm. So here's a write up on it. Um, <laughs> you might have to use a magnifying glass to read it, but uh, I'll just scan down it so if y'all want to. Have signs that you can buy what happens in the garage stays in the garage. I like the old metal signs, I have several of them. Let's 
So we got a little fire going in there, keeping us nice and warm. I had an old viewing machine with this out of order. All right. So, uh, so anyways, um, got all kinds of jams and some uh, mustard. Anna, what do you think? Yeah. Hmm? Cute little store. Books, books you can believe in. Fishing, Fisherman's Journal, hunting. Plates and cups. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a vase or something. What is that? It's a butterfly. Well, I know it's a butterfly. Uh, it's a it's like a, a vase. A vase. A vase. A vase. It's a vase. Oh, yeah. That's a birdie. Yeah, we're a little slow putting our Christmas things away this year because we didn't get we our got earrings and kinds of stuff. So uh, they also have clothes in here. There's you a shirt. It's a uh, hundred and nineteen dollars, but looks like it looks warm. I need that for an upcoming trip we got coming up. <laughs> Yeah, they got all kinds of stuff. Nice Patagonia, nice Patagonia uh, vest. It's kind of cool. Wow, fifty percent off. It's a nice jacket. Let's see how much it is. One hundred and sixty. It's not bad. Eighty bucks. It's a pretty good deal. So here's the view out the back of the building. They also have uh, more candy on this side. There's a cool sign. Ring doorbell, win a, win a dog. <laughs> yeah. I wish she, well, she does a great job. She does. She sold our giant jawbreakers. Taffy. Blow pops. Hannah's in candy heaven right now. Mm. Orange cream. Yeah, it's the best. I like that. They have bottled sodas as well. <laughs> have you ever heard of bubble? Yeah. Milk and mint soap. What does it smell like? It's... <laughs> it smells like, um... Spearmint or double mint bubble gum. Smell it. Yep. Double mint gum. So it sounds like double mint gum. That's what, that's what I thought. I'm a little disappointed in this handle. Did it smell like pumpkin spice? That's ginger peach. Oh, it was supposed to be ginger peach. Didn't smell like ginger peach? No. They're local. They understand. You know, they understand what they're Mama. Yeah, Hannah. They have gold mine bubble gum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about a, a licorice pipe? I guess it's licorice. Candy pipe. Mm -hmm. Or a, a mustache. A, a wax. mustache. Wax a wax. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Oh my goodness, please tell me These were in the eighties. The little fizzies. Zots. Zots. Well, they, they weren't called that when we were kids, but... No, these are 90s candy. Yeah. They had something different. They called it different when we were kids. You grew up in the 90s? No, I grew up in 2000. Oh. 
sign here says, please don't feed the wampus. I don't know if you can see in there. But there's a tail sticking out of the hole. There it is. There's the wampus. Paw. Not a tail, it's a paw. So we can't feed the wampus. Oh, we can't feed it? Why not? Hmm? Why can't you feed it? This I don't know. It'll probably eat you. Alright, so we're going to walk across the street here to the Salty Junction. And uh, they said there's a bakery over here. And they, um, sign says, uh, pottery gifts, fabric, lace, jewelry, grass, crafts, jewelry, crafts, art, cabin rentals, wine tours, and luxury consignment. So anyways, we're <laughs> going to go check out this little, uh, I guess it's like a shopping area. So, uh, so yeah. I think Hannah's wanting to go to the bakery if they're open. Right? Yeah. Eat you in all bubble gum. Mama bought Hannah some of that gold mine bubble gum. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the bakery. Bakery and so cute. boutique. So, uh, let Hannah go in and get her some cake. Let them eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mama, found you a bicycle. It's a skinny bicycle. All right. Hi. Hey, good. How are you? Good. So, they have macaroons. Eclairs, cheesecake, it's like a peach banana pudding. Like pudding. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's so pretty. Okay, you can join forces. What? Join forces. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? She found yarn. <laughs> Leave it to Hannah. <laughs> All right, we are uh, came on down the road, um, three miles past uh, that little store, um, and we are at. Stovall Mill Cover Bridge it says uh, I'll read some of it I'm not going to put y'all through all of it but um, said he constructed a bridge and nearby and near my grist mill um, saw the shingle mill complex here in the late 1800s the original bridge washed away in the late 1890s Will Purdue replaced it in 1895 with the present 38 foot structure um, this film was also um, in the 1951 movie, I'd Climb the Highest Mountain, starring Susan Hayward. So, yeah, we'll just walk over here and kind of look at it a bit closer. A real pretty little creek that goes underneath it. We have this under surveillance because a lot of people have been coming in and spray painting. There's the other side of it. So yeah. Just a cover bridge. <laughs> if you want to have a picnic, they have picnic tables out here as well. So uh, we are finding a lot of stuff to do in this area. Um, we're about to go into the Folk Pottery Museum of Northeast Georgia, which is part of the Salty Nakuchi Cultural Center. So um, this is it's free, and uh, they have a lot of pottery and um, different things. 
so we're gonna check it out and uh, and uh, see what it is. So they have displays in here that shows how people did pottery back in the day. There it is, the moonshine steel. That's where they got their inspiration to build their pottery from. <laughs> I'm just kidding, probably not. They had pottery and stuff sitting, and they used it for their, their smokehouse. And here's a pottery model moonshine steel. Kitchen. So this is what an old house kind of stuff would be like. <clears throat> Full pottery. Yeah, face jugs, which are a big thing in the Appalachia culture. So, see it firing stuff down in the keel. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a uh, crow. Nature speaks is what it's called. It's like a raven. It could be a whole I don't know. I got left. Oh, here they are. There's a man with a hat. Kind of looks like the planter's peanut man. No, never mind. Different types of churns and pickle jars. There's a pickle jar right there. Churn and a cream pot. Storage jar. Syrup jug. And another syrup jug. Syrup jug, canning jar, storage jar, syrup jar, and a cream pitcher, which is right there. Bunch more jugs, water jugs. It's a wedding jug. I guess everybody takes a turn drinking out of each spout. It says, uh, it says it was made for drinking a wedding toast. The central neck meant for the preacher, the rear spouts for the bride and groom, and the front ones for the people who stood up for them, the best man and the maid of honor. Similar multi-neck jugs were used when made in White County as early as the 1850s for cut flowers. So that's kind of cool. 
um, cream riser, syrup jugs, whiskey jugs, different kinds, all kinds of jugs. <clears throat> That's a miniature pitcher. Jugs. There's one thing I've learned about the Appalachian culture. They love their jugs. <clears throat> I think jugs are useful though, so that's probably why. Vases, candlesticks, so that's kind of cool. I like the candlestick holder. This rooster is pretty cool too. Here's a smoking pipe. That's cool. It's got a face. Cool elephant. Changing in times. Threats to functional folk pottery. It says the industrialized north making of folk pottery was in decline by the mid 1800s and was nearly extinct by that century's end. But the south, the agrarian lifestyle that supported the use of folk pottery continued until the early 20th century. However, late in coming, big changes were to affect the lives of North Georgians at that time. Rural self sufficiency gave way to dependence on cash economy, and the many of the old skills, including home food production, were abandoned. At the same time, potters were lured away from their shops by factory wages. North Georgia's stoneware tradition was nearly dealt with a blow by the Great Depression in 1930 when folk potters could no longer count on fellow farmers to buy their products. This followed a series of events that caused a range of wares needed on the farm to shrink dramatically. Here's an illustration from a local liquor law ballot. Against the sale. So uh, it went from like milk jugs, milk jars to milk bottles. It's <laughs> another rooster. Terracotta. <clears throat> well, here are the face jugs. Says this piece by Chester shows the influence of his friend Lanier Meter, Meters. Chester's great uncle, William Hewell, had introduced the idea of face jugs to Cheever Meters, who son Lanier made them his specialty. Chester's revival of the Howell face joke tradition chooses a circle of influence between the two most prominent families in Northeast Georgia folk potters. So that's like another wedding jug kind of thing. Check this one out. It's like a Native American with a, with a rattlesnake wrapped around his head. That's kind of cool. Detail on that is incredible. Indian egg jug with owl totem. Just kind of cool. These face jugs are pretty interesting. <clears throat> interesting things. They call this a five face totem pole jug. So you have one, two, three, and you got the dude on the back. Four, five, 
That's kind of cool. It's freaky looking, but cool. Here's a write up about the uh, jug heads. I'm not going to read it, but I'm scroll kind of slow. It's a jack-o'-lantern, so you actually put a candle in that one. So a lot of these, you, they put candles, they put stuff in them, like, I guess liquor and stuff, but they also put candles and stuff in them as well, because that's what that one is. It's a candle bar. I guess the first one that I saw was it. amazing to the Art Gallery and History Museum now. There's more jugs through there. We'll okay, go up this way. Okay. So I couldn't videotape the art stuff because they didn't want you videotaping in there, but um, we're in the history part now. So they have some arrowheads and uh, different things. So anyways. Um, a lot of Native American stuff. Mississippian period. More arrow. Canoes. Muskets. Flintlock rifles, that's cool. The floor is very squeaky here. A surveyor scope. That's awesome. Different wood tools. More shoes, ox shoes, mule shoes. That's blurry shoes. Here is a toolbox from 1871 to 1934. Those were made to roast marshmallows with, which is kind of cool. Yep. Here is a uh, double barrel flintlock, flintlock shotgun. Which is cool. Pieces of pipe. 
from the California Gold Rush. Different mining equipment. That's gold, isn't it? Real gold, isn't it? That's some gold. If you look down in the bottom. Huh. There's a gold nugget. That's cool. It's the gold bottle. That's awesome. A replica of a gold locket made in New York from Nanucci Gold. This is one squeaky floor. Here's another rifle. That's a bayonet. Some spears. Another musket. Here is a uh, Shea locomotive. Lumber mules, dioramas. It's, it's kind of a neat place. So that was our trip for the day. Um, thank you for watching. Um, a big thank you to everybody that subscribed to our channel. Um, if you're watching our videos and haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, it's the best way that I can ask you to help support our channel. Um, if you like the video, please click the like button. Please ring the notification bell to be um, updated about future videos on the channel. And uh, so I guess that about wraps everything up. So, uh, so yeah, till next time, let's head out together. See ya!